It's 6 a.m. and Brother Ice's football field sits unoccupied in the dark. A short distance away in the school's gym, the pitter-patter of feet, the grunts of 75 teenagers, the sounds of tradition. Everybody has to do it together. All of it for a chocolate bunny. Chocolate bunny, it means a lot. It shows that, you know, you worked hard, that you put the work in to achieve something that a lot, many people can't. Four weeks of three days a week, putting your heart and soul into waking up at six in the morning and coming to these deals. If our kids make every single one, they get a reward. And that's going to be a, a chocolate uh, a bunny rabbit, about two ounces. Yeah, we definitely are a little crazy to get up here. It's something you get used to, but it's something you don't like to get used to. It is tradition, coming to these agility drills. It's, it's something special that other schools don't do. This spring, the feel in the gym is different, and it will follow the Warriors onto the field this fall. After a storied career, Al Fracasa is retiring at the end of the season. There's a time where you have to say, I got to maybe let it go now. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to accept that, and I'm glad that everyone knows this is going to be my last year of coaching. And it's not so bad so far. He comes out here with such enthusiasm, and just his presence is, is really cool to be around. And, you know, we cherish it because this is last year. A memento to remember the time handed out to just 30 players this year. Some will be eaten, but many will find their way into preservation never to be touched. I still got mine in my freezer from all three years. You don't know whether to eat it or to save it. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to save this one. In 44 years at Brother Ice, Fracasa has established countless traditions. The agility drills are far from the easiest of them all, but asking the 80-year-old coach, and he'll tell you, they're by far the most popular. All you have to do is check one of the former players' freezers to find a chocolate bunny for proof. <laughs> in Bloomfield Hills, Brad Galley for the 7 Sports Update.